Hey guys, how is it going? Simple Clutch here, and today I'll be doing my WWE Battleground 2013 predictions. And they haven't given us much matches on the card, considering we're like five days away from the show. But as it stands, there's Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus uh, The Shield, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. Uh, if Cody, Rhodes, and Goldust win, they get their job back. If they lose, they don't. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, Damian Sandow's pre-show kickoff match, but still on the card. Uh, AJ Lee versus Brie Bella for the Divas Championship. CM Punk takes on Ryback. Uh, World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio against Rob Van Dam in a hardcore rules match. I don't know why they just don't call it a hardcore match. but And Daniel Bryan takes on Randy Orton for the uh, WWE title. And nobody's champion. It was uh, stripped of Daniel Bryan. No one has it. So let's start with Goldust, Cody Rhodes, and uh, The Shield. Uh, I definitely think Goldust and Cody Rhodes are going to come away with the win. Uh, the Shield doesn't really have much to lose. You know, if they lose, they don't lose their title. You know, they don't lose anything. Uh, and they wouldn't They wouldn't just have Goldust and Cody lose and do that whole story for nothing. So clearly, Cody Rhodes and Goldust, whether it be clean or dirty, they will win. Uh, and if they don't, it'll be cheap and they'll get a rematch. But I can pretty much, I'd, I'd say I'm about 80% confident Cody Rhodes, Goldust will pick up the win. It should be Cody Rhodes with the crossroads, maybe on Seth Rollins or maybe Roman Reigns, not sure. But either way, they need to pick up the win, they need it clean. Uh, the kickoff match, Ziggler and Sandow. It's funny because they don't like Ziggler much right now. Uh, he went from world chant to pre-show. He has backstage heat and they don't think he'll ever draw money, but then they have Damian Sandow, you know, losing match after match after match. They don't really know how to book a money in the bank holder. Uh, but, you know, if I had to pick someone, I would say Dolph Ziggler uh, coming away at the win. Actually, you know what? No, it's going to be Sandow because they got to build him up with that briefcase and they don't really, they're not doing anything with Dolph. So, you know, I think Damian Sandow is going to win the match uh, and clean too. It's really just pre-show kind of throwaway, so... Not too concerned about it. Uh, Divas champion AJ Lee and Brie Bella. I just want to say that AJ Lee is the best thing to happen to the Divas division. And, you know, it is a very brutal division, even with their new reality show. And AJ is, like, the one thing in it that I actually like. Uh, I've never really cared for Divas matches. I just kind of watch them, never cheering. I want AJ to keep her title. She's actually, you know, her pipe bomb was pretty good on them. And I think her run's decent. And I don't think Brie Bella should have it. You know, we've been there, done that before, so uh, AJ Lee should retain with the Black Widow. It's my prediction. I don't see Brie Bella winning it. I could see, you know, maybe Paige from NXT or Natalia taking it from her, but not Brie Bella. Uh, CM Punk and Ryback. This one's hard to predict because if the feud is ending at Battleground, then Punk's just going to get the win and then beat up Paul Heyman, and that's the end of the feud. Uh, Ryback needs momentum as a Paul Heyman guy, but CM Punk has lost, uh, ever since payback when he beat Chris Jericho, he lost at Money in the Bank in July, he lost to Lesnar in August in SummerSlam, he lost to the Champions when Ryback put him through the table, so he's been doing a lot of losing, and for the best in the world, they gotta build him back up, and, uh, I definitely think he's gonna go through Ryback and pick up the win. I, I can't see where, if Ryback were to win, it would be cheap, but I think... The safest bet here is CM Punk will walk away with the win and probably get his hands on Paul Heyman and end that feud because, to be honest, that feud's gone way too long and it needs to end. But I can't see them not taking it to, to Hell in a Cell. But I think CM Punk will beat Ryback and then they'll beat him again at Hell in a Cell to end the feud. Uh, the World Heavyweight Champion uh, Championship match, Alberto Del Rio and Rob Van Dam. Uh, Del Rio is coming away at the win for sure. And spoiler alert, uh, if you don't like spoilers, don't listen. Uh, Rob Van Dam's taking time off in October. He'll take a couple months off, so there's no way he'll win the title. Maybe he'll win and Sandow will cash in, but I think the much more likely likely result will be Del Rio somehow locking in the arm bar, maybe with a chair or something, and making Rob Van Dam tap out, help boost him. A lot of people are mad that his world title run's continuing, but I think the guy is so great in the ring, and I'm a huge fan of him, so I think his run should continue. I'd rather not have someone like Big Show with terrible matches and a boring character in the picture. So, moving on to the, the main event, uh, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan seems to be main eventing like every pay-per-view now. Uh, I was a little mad with how Daniel Bryan just kind of steamrolled Orton at Night of Champs, but uh, looking at Battleground, I think... Randy Orton will get the championship and then maybe have one more match with Daniel Bryan in the cell where he retains it clean. Um, but I think for now, he won't beat Daniel Bryan clean. 
Daniel Bryan's going to get screwed out of it somehow. Orton will do something dirty or a roll-up or something to get the win. And Daniel Bryan will get his rematch and lose a Hell in a Cell. But either way, I don't see a point in putting the title on Daniel Bryan right now. So I do not think Daniel Bryan's going to get it. Randy Orton will somehow walk out of Battleground as WWE Champion. That's my predictions. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, you know, tell me what you think or who you think is going to win. You know, I mean, I'm not always right, but I have, I have a pretty good track record. You know, if you look at my predictions for Extreme Rules, I got every single one of them right. You know, I, I, I know the stuff pretty well. I mean, it doesn't mean they don't trick me. I never thought Sandow would win Money in the Bank, but... Um, yeah, just make sure to leave a like and comment and uh, tell me if you're going to be buying the pay-per-view. I know I will.